What's going on guys, time here and still show you guys how to easily get the infinite white background So what you need is a white table, the bigger the better But if you want something bigger, you can also buy a kit of the white backdrop as well And the next thing that you'll need is a DSLR or in this case an SLT Because you need to customize the settings which point and shoot camera can't do and if you don't own one yet, please feel free to visit my online store, which is ProShopTime.com for your photography equipments. And the next thing that you need is a lot of lights. The more, the better. If you can keep it the same Kelvin, that will be nice as well. So I'll just show you my setup here. I have my camera on the tripod. I have one light shining from there and two from the sides. So as you can see right here, I have two lights shining in the middle and the other one shining in the center. And the most important thing to do is to set your camera. So first, go to your custom white balance settings, take the picture of that white background. And for Nikon and Canon, just go to your image and choose it for the white balance. But for Sony, I'll just hit enter and then I'll be set. Once you have done that, just go to the movie mode and then you can see that it's not as bright as you want. What you have to do is go to your exposure compensation and just add the number that you want until it is infinite white. So for example, I'll just add one right here and you can see that it is a lot brighter. And also remember to keep the shutter speed between 1 60th and 1 100th so that the lights won't blink. So now what you have to do is get something gray. You can also pick up a gray card at my website, which is once again, ProShopTime.com. So now what you do is hit the AEL button to lock the exposure compensation. So now you get yourself an infinite white background. As you can see right here, it won't change at all. Even though I have something white, the exposure will be the same because you just locked it. So once again, what you have to do is set the white balance. And the second thing is go to video mode. Third thing is to bump up the exposure compensation because your camera will think that it is too bright because of the white background. Once you have bump up the exposure compensation, get something great and then hit the AEL button to lock your exposure compensation. And also, if you can get a constant aperture lens like a 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8, that'd be great as well because the lights won't change when you zoom in and out. If you have any question about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you out. And also, please feel free to visit my online store, which is ProShopTime.com for your photography equipment. And that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any question, and please subscribe for more reviews.